relationships that you talked about going to and joining trade associations, um, you know, it seems to be the key part of almost the education to suppliers on, you know, it can be a, a digital first or digital only model as a retailer uh, and it can work and you can add value still like that. I know, you know, the traditional models, like we add value as a brick and mortar because we have the physical uh, products at our physical location in this geographical location, right? And we have those customers. And that's, that's always been the traditional value in retail. But, um, you know, we see new value showing up in building a brand online, having the technology dialed in, like you mentioned earlier, uh, reducing customer friction, things like that. And I think the education to our suppliers and to, to all the suppliers looking to not just go direct to consumer online, but to work with partners like yourself is, is educating. Here's how we add value. Right. And so that it takes that extra bit of effort, joining the trade organizations, flying out, going to the trade shows, sitting down and having conversations face to face. But um, it's companies like like you guys at Prevail and, you know, primarily through the Bowhunter Superstore uh, initially kind of having these educate them and really just making it better for the, the industry as a whole, because they might be open to uh, this this in, in the future um, and kind of really helping expand this this world of e-commerce to where you know, there's a lot of value added where you don't need the physical location um, side of things. So I uh, appreciate that. Yeah, I totally agree with that. And and there's there's other elements to it that transcend the, the the exchange of doing business. Whereas if you're entering a category, so shifting gears from the outdoor side of it for a moment, we sell equestrian. So yeah. if we are working with a partner who we are selling equestrian through Amazon or soon to be primeassortment.com which will have a large equestrian section. We want to make sure that we've got one, a good understanding of what are we selling? Two, who is the seller and how can we build a relationship with them? Three, that ultimately provides us a, an, an opportunity to be able to communicate with them. So therefore providing a better experience to our customer. Uh, I think it can be I think hard for a lot of e-commerce retailers uh, to step back and say, if I am entering this category, should I be entering this category? Uh, 